Now here they are. anything I'll try to film with the with my phone see how it goes but I know how that goes the phone's a piece of crap they don't make phones like they used to so. last couple days after the first night I uh, I had a uh, I got a beaver that keeps covering my trap up so I got a smart one so I went in there last night in the dark after a volleyball game set some uh, two caster mount sets and I put a con bear in the dam brake and then I still got the dam brake set so we're gonna go see it's been raining all day it's a mess so I'm gonna go check it out and see what we got so stay tuned hopefully I got something good if not you won't see this so stay tuned hey everybody back out on the flooding I did a caster mount set there yesterday. It's all in the dark. I did a caster mount set there. Got my dam brake set. And I put a conner bear back here because they were pushing this up. I got one here. I wish I would have got the setting. You'll have to watch my uh, dam brake set video. But I wish I would have got it in the on video yesterday but they were really irritating me they kept covering my trap up right here because these are smart beaver i got a big one on this one put the old 330 in this channel right here water rose up and then i could see a beaver out here but i'm not sure if he's you can see my caster mounds all smashed down where they climbed up on it I use Jeff Dunlap's beaver lure. I'll put a picture of it in here, it's in the truck. But I'm not sure, I know they got a beaver out here. And I know it's raining, it's raining really hard right now. I'm hoping that I can keep this video clear. This is day three. And I had a couple of, uh, like I say, Kept covering my trap up. So, let's see if I can find this drowner. Water is rosin a lot. We got, we're supposed to get up six inches of rain here. <clears throat> Super hard ground here. I'm just gonna pull him up here. I think he's on this one. What the heck? He is on that one, but he's got that one stuck. Oh my God. You never know what's gonna happen. Clearly this, this one could reach that one. But there he is, not quite deep enough to drown him. But if I got him on the caster mound, he doesn't seem to be in here very long. Well, he messed up my this set. I'm at. I got a whole mess of sets. I got to check that one over there still. I really wish you to drown, buddy. So basically, what I did was. It's going to be a crude explanation. I got my drowning rod in here. I dug, the water is really deep now, but I dug a trench that they could follow in. I put up my big mound up here. I put a little stick with my lure on it. And then you just place a trap right here. I do the jaws open like this. 
so. Here's the here's the set. Just got the trap setting just under the water there. The Canine Extreme Beaver Trap. Definitely check those out. But then I put the lure right there on the piece of corn cob. The lure was moved. I'm guessing the coons must have come through. I could see some tracks on top. I'm not going to freshen this up right now being it's just raining. I put the corn stalk cob back in there. I really wish I'd have brought my GoPro. You just never know. Two days uh, they mess with me and then I got them last night. But let's pull this guy out. Water's pretty high still. That's a nice one right there. Uh, I'll get him up here. Stay tuned. Now yeah, here they are. Foam went dead out there on the bottom. So I figured I'd bring it up here and at least show you. Nuisance beaver trap when you're not allowed to keep anything, so they'll go in a certain spot over here on the farm and hopefully I can come back and trap coyotes and bobcats. So kind of use them as an attractor, I guess. But I had no idea there was going to be three beaver in that hole. There's no sign, no chewings. I just started seeing where they're pulling the beans out of the field. And I put in them two caster sets. But other than that, I can't find bank dens or anything. So the, after this rain that we've been getting goes away, I'm going to focus on just straight up getting the pond down to where I can find the runs and get, get them out of there. So that's what the homeowner wants. We need them out. It's almost harvest season, so. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Sorry, this video is kind of goofy because I didn't have my GoPro. I was trying to do it all with my hands. And with the rain, it's just not good. But it's still worth, I'm pretty sure it's still worth uh, putting on face, uh, Facebook and YouTube. So, appreciate everybody's support. Stay tuned.